Now, throughout the years that you've been drawing cartoons, you must have had some interesting responses or have some great stories about them. Do you have one in particular to share with us? I, I like this particular story. It's, um, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you why. But in 1997, Cape Town bid for the 2004 Olympic Games. And I, I really think many of us were quite naive. We actually thought that, first of all, Cape Town could do it which would have been, I think, impossible at that stage. Um, we got the World Cup in 2010, and that was one sport, and that was many, you know, six years later. I don't think we would have handled it. And many, many of us thought we would actually get it. So we were quite naive. I went down to the parade uh, where the, the party was happening on the day of the announcement in 97. And it came through on this big screen and said, from, from Switzerland, and the host city for the 2004 Olympics will be Athens. And then this friend of mine who was next to me started laughing. Everyone else was kind of quiet. And I said, what, what's so funny? He says, the guy next to me, the guy next to him said, Athens Samasa. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, there's your cartoon. Now, I couldn't think how to use it in a cartoon. I thought it was hilarious. but I, So Cape Town. Mm, so <laughs> exactly. And a couple of days later, I suddenly realized how I was going to do it. And I did this. I took everything away all the people away and just had this one KP, <laughs> this one guy. And that cartoon was in black and white. It, it took me half a day to persuade the Sowetan to run it because they said, no, it's, you can't do that stuff. It's too rude. I said, trust me, I believe this one's going to work. It worked really well in Joburg, but it worked phenomenally in Cape Town where it was reprinted in the Argus. And it was, in those days, pre-internet, faxed to about 20 countries. It went wild. People cut it out. It was. It became. The people made sort of a gorilla T-shirts out of it. All sorts <laughs> of things. You know. And then Mandela came back from Switzerland, where he was heading up our bid, and he went to the to, to Parliament. He went to the ANC Parliamentary Caucus, and he said, uh, "I didn't know what I was going to say, uh, and then I saw this." And he holds out this copy of the Sowetan, and he says, "Athens <laughs> semasemur." And everybody cracked up. And the, the end of that story is, thank goodness Madiba didn't come from Cape Town. Because that is not the Cape Town version, and I never wanted to hear him say that. Although I, I imagine it would have been pretty funny had he said it. Yeah, I just, I, yeah, that, that would have been maybe a step too far. But, <laughs> but to hear him say, Arthur and Sam is brilliant. So. But that's not the first time Mandela has responded to something that you've you drawn. No, I mean, well, I, I first met him in 94. And uh, that time I went along on my wife's coattails. She is a photographer and she'd already in early 94 been working on a, a documentary, um, Nelson Mandela, Son of Africa, Father of a Nation. And she was doing the still photographs. So she managed to get a shoot with him um, a few months into his presidency. And I said, well, you'll need an assistant. And I went along <laughs> uh, carrying her bags and she made me, she, she said, I, I can't say who I am until the end of the interview and you know just so that he focuses on what he needs to do so after the interview after the the sort of little interview and then the, the shoot that, that she did with him um she said okay now you know my husband is Zapiro. oh Zapiro! and he knew my work from even from the struggle days he'd seen newspapers when he was on the island and he was he, or, or maybe he was in victor for stare i'm not you're probably more likely uh, Poles, and, yeah, probably from Poles, Poles and Victor Fester days, he would have seen. And um, he was fantastic. And then since then, well, he, one day he called me out of the blue and I've, he invited me to a couple of his functions that he had in Joburg and he, he reacted to particular cartoons. He had a fantastic, another nice, I'll tell you a little, another little story. And it's not from one of the cartoons in the book, but it's from the first puppet we made of him. We, um, I, I sort of smuggled it in the boot of the car into after he made his final speech to Parliament, and those cartoons are in here. The the, the cartoons I did on that day, um, that's the sunset cartoon, a sunset on his own era. That's the first sunset one I did of him. So we went along to Fernwood Estate where they were having this kind of after party after the is a really a nice garden party after his final speech to Parliament as president. And I had this thing, and I pushed it through the metal detectors. It's kind of a li more than life size head and a big body and. A, I stick my arm through the, through the, the one arm and the other hand is, is hanging next to him. And the parliamentarians were all kind of swooning around. I got permission to go and present it to him, but only as he left. 
So I had to fight the bodyguards off. I walked through the bodyguards. Uh, one of them was very, very tall. He's, he, they called him tall. And he, he sort of tried to keep me away and I ducked behind him and I approached Madiba with the puppet, stuck the hand out and he said, oh, I believe I've met this gentleman before. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, he was always completely uh, spontaneous, great sense of humor. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've had encounters with, with, with many of the people that I've drawn, you know, many of them. Uh, Trevor Manuel and Carter Asmal always, I knew them quite well, and they, they both said that I drew their noses too big. <laughs> and, but in, in good humor, they took the stuff. Even when I was doing very critical cartoons of them, uh, somebody like Zwellenzi Mavavi, Apparently he's got a whole wall of cartoons of mine at Kasatu, but then he's one of the people I included in that Lady Justice cartoon. And he, um, and he was very angry. And uh, for a while I had no, sort of no contact, and then one day he called me out of the blue and he, was, he asked me for some cartoons for a, a Kasatu uh, pamphlet, a Kasatu, it's actually quite a heavyweight thing they were putting out. So, yeah, and he's, he's, he's a good sport. Um, he came to a launch I did in Johannesburg after I'd drawn him being unzipped. The, the word V, it's in the book as well. The, the Vavi V is, is sort of being unzipped. And, uh, yeah, he's... So, yeah, it's been, it's been an incredible period to be a cartoonist in South Africa, that's for sure.